You can thank me now. Uh, go ahead. Thank me later. Yeah, I know what I said. But later doesn't always come, so instead, it's a okay. You can thank me now. Hey guys, this is Mr. Apple iPhone Pro here, and today I'll be showing you how to upgrade, downgrade, and restore to a custom firmware after you have upgraded to the 16.15.00 baseband. Now, if I go into my settings here, I can show y'all that I am on T-Mobile on 4.2.1 firmware on 16.15.00 baseband. Now when we were told about this 16.15.00 upgrade, we were told that we can no longer upgrade, downgrade, or restore to any type of firmware when we flashed, after we flashed this 16.15.00 baseband. But today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now this will work on the iPhone 3G. I've been told it works on the iPhone 3GS. I have not exactly tried that. So uh, if you have an iPhone 3GS, you can follow these steps and I've been told that it works so again with iPhone 3GS try at your own risk iPhone 3G this definitely works now today I'm going to downgrade to version 1. Point, or 3.1.3 .3, just because on 4.0 I do not like my iPhone 4.x.x 4. I don't like it it's too slow so anyway today I'm going to be showing you how to do that exactly so on to the computer there's a couple things you're going to need to get one is iTunes setup 0.9.3 if you already have the other one installed you're going to need to delete it one is Snowbreeze now you need to search on Google which Snowbreeze matches your firmware you're going to be downgrading to and then the other is Red Snow I will have a link in the description to Red Snow and uh, I think it's Red Snow 0.98 something I will have a link in the description and then the other one is your respective iPhone firmware. Uh, again, this will work for iPhone 3G and 3GS. So, uh, anyway, how you get the old iPhone iTunes is oldapps.com up slash iTunes.php. And if you scroll down, you'll see iTunes 9.0.3. And again, I will have a link in the description, so just download that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download that again. And then you, I will also have a link for this in the description, Red Snow. Uh, that is blog.iphone-dev.org. That will allow you to download the newest Red Snow. Now, if you scroll down to the very bottom, they will have a link to the latest Red Snow post. And if you click on that, it will open up this page, and you scroll down to the bottom and click on OS X or Windows, whichever one matches your system. And the next thing you need to go download is, <coughs> excuse me, Snow Breeze. Now again, with Snow Breeze, you need to download which one matches your respective firmware you're downgrading to. Now for me, since I'm downgrading to 3.1.3, .3, then I will need 1.4, as it says here, or I'm using 1.5, which also works. Now let's say you're downgrading to 4.0, you will need Snow Breeze 1.6. So just uh, Google that, find out which one you need. Now for your iPad, iPod firmware, or iPhone firmware, I'm sorry, go to flexbruns.de up slash iPod up slash firmware, click on the second scroll bar and scroll down to whatever firmware matches your iPhone 3G or 3GS. In my case, it's going to be the 3.1.3, .3, but I've already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download this again. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is open up Snowbreeze. if it would open up here. Oh, 
OK, here it is. Now just click OK, and then click the Next button. Now click Simple Mode. Expert Mode is just, it's, I don't know. I've never used that before. Press Browse and go find your IPSW. Now, as you see, I already have a custom, the Snowbreeze iPhone 3G. But I'm going to do it again just to show you all how to do this. So press Open. And the first time you do this, it will take a little bit. But after that, each time you do this, it will go by a little bit quicker. So it's going to Process. Press the Next button. Yes, I want to activate since I'm using T-Mobile. And I will come back to you all as soon as it is done. Okay, so now my device is done being jailbroken. Press the next and then the little arrow. Alright, now you can exit out of this. Now what you need to do is make sure that you have iTunes installed, iTunes 0.9.3 installed on your computer. Now, uh, if you already have the other one installed, just go to your control panel uninstall it and uh, you might get this error that says you already have iTunes uh, ITL installed just go ahead and uh, go to your documents then your music on the left there will be a little link for your music go into iTunes and then just delete all of this stuff. Just all of it. There you see the iTunes library.itl, but if you don't delete all of it, it will not run. It says you have an older version of iTunes has been previously installed, a newer version. So anyway, after that is installed, then uh, then you'll be good in the iTunes respect. It won't give you that error, uh, one of the errors that you get. So the next thing you need to do is open up the red snow that you downloaded. Again, I will have a link in the description. So and run the redsnow.exe. Now what this does is it's going to put your device into a pond DFU mode. Now this pond DFU mode is just like a deeper DFU than normal. It allows iTunes, pretty much tells iTunes not to uh, check iTunes, Apple's servers and allows you to restore to a custom firmware. So click browse and always click on 4.2.1 regular firmware. No matter what firmware you are on currently, always click on iPhone 3GS or 3G, whatever iPhone you have, 4.2.1 firmware, no matter what. Okay, now just allow this to process. Press next after it's been identified. It's going to do whatever it does. Okay, now you want to uncheck everything. Install Cydia and enable battery percentage. Uncheck them and just click just enter pond DFU mode right now. Now, once you're here, it says make sure your phone is off uh, because after you press next, it's going to ask you put your phone into DFU mode. Now, for all of you who don't know what DFU mode is or how you get to it, I'm going to tell you because the instructions here, once you press next, go by kind of quick. So what you're going to do is after your phone is off, you're going to hold the power button for three seconds. Then without letting go of the power button, you're going to hold the home button for 10 seconds. So the power in home for 10 seconds. And then you're going to let go of the power button till your computer re-recognizes that you have uh, an iPhone plugged into your computer. And then iTunes might even pop up and say, oh, your iPhone is in, your iPhone is in recovery mode or DFU mode you need to restore and that is how we will restore our custom firmware okay so after you press next then just again follow all these instructions it does go by kinda quick so uh, again pay attention to that
Okay, now once your device has entered DFU, let's know we'll recognize it and enter into what you see there, pond DFU mode. So now you can click finish or the X. And now we can go into iTunes to restore to our custom firmware. And this, that custom firmware and pond DFU mode put together is what allows us to not get that error in iTunes. That error 10.15 or 10.16 and that uh, recovery loop that a lot, a lot of y'all are getting. This is what bypasses that in iTunes. So anyway, if my iTunes will open here. Here it is. And there we get that error, or not that error, but that notification. Now, if you're on a Mac, you're going to press Option, hold down Option on the keyboard and press Restore. And if you're on a Windows PC, you're going to click Shift and click that Restore button. Okay, now you're going to choose your respective firmware. In our case, we're going to choose that custom firmware we located and placed on the desktop. It's going to extract it, and when it's done, I will be back. Okay guys, now as you can see, your lock screen says enjoy your jailbroken device, which means it is already jailbroken after your restore. So if we unlock it here, you see that yes, I am on 3.1.3. .3. I have downgraded. Now if I go into my settings, general, about, you will see that right here, I am on 3.1.3 .3, and that my baseband is 6.15.00. Now, uh, if you look at the top here, it does say no service, and my network is not available because I have not gone into Cydia and installed UltraSnow to get this unlock. So, that is my next step to complete my unlock. I go into Cydia, but if you're using this on AT&T, actually there would really be no reason you should have upgraded the baseband if you were on AT&T. So, to finalize your unlock, just go into Cydia, install UltraSnow, and you'll be fine. Yellow.